Hello guys, how's it going? It's been a while since I've done one of these, but this is a Game Maker Quick Tips. These are like the first videos I did on this channel and I haven't done one in ages. And I thought I'd do this one. I'm going to be incorporating it into the Tower Defense series, but for now I just wanted to uh, show people who weren't aware of it uh, what this really cool feature is. So let's say you've got your game and you've got a ton of objects. This is, uh, let's say you're making a Minecraft game. Let me, let's make this OBJ uh, zombie. You've got all these different objects and you, you might have like 30 different objects. You know, the larger the game, the more different types of objects you're going to have. Now, it's it can be such a pain to have to scroll through all these objects completely unorganized, trying to figure out where the one you're looking for is. But the Game Maker has a really cool thing that makes that a lot easier. It actually allows you to create folders within the objects and the sounds and the sprites and stuff. Now, it, they're not called folders, they're actually called groups. And what you do is you just right click on the object folder, for an example, and hit create group. And it's going to ask you for a name, so I can say um, blocks, for an example. And now it will create this subfolder. And what I can do is I can click and drag objects into this subfolder. And now I can minimize it, maximize it as, you know, as I need it. But now it's slightly more organized. So I can also create a group for um, player related stuff. So maybe weapons, the player itself. And then I could create a group for enemies. And I can drag in the OBJ zombie. So now I'm just slightly more organized. I can go through and if I'm looking for a block, I know for sure that it's in the blocks folder. Now that being said, you can also do this with sprites, your sounds, your backgrounds. You can actually do it with all of the things here and I think it's it's quite a cool cool feature I highly recommend doing it for your objects and your sprites for sure just makes it so much easier and your sounds maybe you'll want a sound effects folder and a background music folder your paths you know it just it all depends on the type of game you have so this will just make it a lot easier to stay organized and not confuse yourself with a lot of objects Anyways, uh, this is a quick tip, so I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will talk to you guys later.